Barclays Africa Group came out with its half-year numbers earlier today. The share price is down a couple of percent, but a good respectable set of numbers in my opinion. The CEO, Maria Ramos, said the following to accompany these results. She said, our growth strategy is now halfway through a three-year journey, and these results demonstrate that it is working. We have done what we said we would by delivering a strong performance driven primarily by the turnaround of retail and business banking through targeted growth and cost reduction. We are successfully growing in our chosen areas. Maria Ramos joins us now from our JSC studio. Maria, sort of a measured, austere and even modest uh, statement to accompany these results, but I suppose appropriate given the numbers. For example, dividend up 13%, diluted headline earnings up 11%. Oh, well, good morning or good afternoon, Lindsay. Yes, I think the, the, the results we produced today are good results. In fact, you know, we could go as far as saying they're strong results. They, we're halfway through our strategy. Our retail and business bank is, you know, exactly where we wanted it to be. We've got strong growth in customer numbers. In fact, our customer numbers are up just under half a million uh, for the half year. We've seen good growth in our home loans business. June was our strongest month for about seven years now, actually. Headline earnings are up 11% to 6.8 billion rand. Our return on equity at 16.4 percent is up on last year for the same period so a good strong set of results outside of south africa our, our business is going from strength to strength there's more to do and then in other core parts of our strategy like our corporate bank where we want to grow both in south africa and outside south africa in south africa we've seen strong growth in headline earnings in our corporate bank and we've got more to do outside South Africa. And then, of course, our insurance business, our wealth investment, manage investment management and insurance business, we've seen good, yeah. solid headline growth in earning, headline earnings growth of 14%. So good. I'm pleased with the set of results that we have achieved for the six months and our strategy is well on course. Okay, let's talk about retail if we can, Maria, because there are, there are certain other banks that we don't need to mention that really stole a march on, on yourselves and uh, others, but you are sort of regaining market share, I suppose. I won't ask you what market share is because it's a, it's a sort of a, a vague area, but let me um, read this from uh, another newswire. It says, having lost customers as it slowed lending when bad debts jumped three years ago, and this is when you started your, 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 your programme, it's been investing, that's you, in technology and branches to lure clients. Um, has it been as simple as that or is there a fancy marketing and advertising campaign? How have you done it? How have you regained or started to regain market share? Well, our strategy is focused on putting our customers first and so there's a whole, you know, there's a lot of components to that. It's been about making sure that we've got the, the, the right product, what our customers want, that we are investing in our networks, whether those are our branches, that's our digital network, that's in an innovation. It's about making it simple to bank with us. And so we're doing a lot of that. And so we're starting to see customers come back. We've seen good growth in all our customer segments. And we also have started to see the, uh, the metrics that measure customer satisfaction improve. And those have improved significantly, actually, particularly where we've made the investments into into new branches uh, and across the board actually we've seen good good progress in customer satisfaction and our customer complaints are down so this is really about making sure that we can continue to deliver that customer proposition and the customer service that customers out there are looking for Credit impairments down by 1%, which is a small amount, uh, but uh, I still suppose in the big scheme of things, uh, material and it's a downward trend, which is very good. Um, Africa growth out of South Africa, Africa growth doubled the growth in South Africa. How confident are you that you can keep that up? It must be quite exciting to see 22% versus uh, not a pedestrian, but a, a, less, um, a more respectable 11% in South Africa. Well, I think we need to keep that in context as well. You know, we. We've said that part of the, the reason why we needed to bring together and why we did the Africa acquisition is because obviously the growth prospects outside South Africa are, are more, uh, are bigger in the sense that the economies that we're in are growing faster than the South African economy is. And we're taking advantage of that. We've seen good growth in mm. most of our markets and we expect to continue, continue that 
when we spoke at the year-end results in March this year, and we, I did make the point that we were going to be investing into our retail and business banking network outside South Africa. We're making investments in technology, innovation, in product, uh, and that's in digital channels and into our branch network. And that those investments are going in. We're also making uh, investments into uh, into our trading platforms, into our cash management and digital platforms in the corporate and investment banking space. And that's beginning mm. to, to gain traction. And we expect that to come through and, uh, and see better results in the acquisition of corporate clients outside South Africa as we are mm. able to service them in a more seamless way than we have been able to do that in the past. And then, of course, in our wealth Maria, and investment management and insurance business, we've been expanding into uh, across the continent and we've just done an acquisition which is just pending regulatory approval in East Africa in Kenya yes. and Tanzania. Very quickly Maria, you're a woman in a powerful financial services um, uh, industry in a powerful position. There's another one uh, is going to be announcing something that will affect us all tonight around about eight o'clock South African time. Her name is Janet Yellen. Very briefly, what would you do? Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's always very, very difficult. I, you know, I, I, th I think that, um, you know, sh she's been quite, you know, I think she's given a lot of indication about what the trajectory where she would like uh, policy rates to go. If I think, I think if I was in her position, I'd probably take the plunge and, 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 and push rates up. But it's always very difficult to do. Mm -hmm. I know they're very data driven and I think they'll make the right decision given what the numbers look like in the US. I hope she's listening. Maria, thanks so much for your time this lunchtime. That's Maria Ramos, the CEO of Barclays Africa.